Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of Awaken Geekdom here on YouTube. And today we're going to be talking about something pretty freaking badass and easily one of my favorite reads of 2019 so far as of this video. And it is Daniel Warren Johnson's and Mike Spicer's Murder Falcon. This thing is beautiful. It is badass, epic in every single way and I absolutely loved it. It's only eight issues published by uh, Image Comics. You're gonna have a fantastic time reading this. Basically, in a nutshell, if you have no idea what Murder Falcon is, uh, this void-like uh, place, it's sort of like this alternate plane of existence that was birthed from all the hatred and uh, wrongdoings by humanity, it it birthed this creature known as Magnum Chaos. Now, Magnum Chaos is going to invade Earth uh, with like these monster kaiju like creatures and is going to destroy everything, destroy civilization and all of humanity. And is he's feeding off of that anger and anguish and misery and suffering from humanity. However, born out of the heavy, which is sort of like this other area or plane of existence. Uh, that is very heavily inspired by music, heavy metal, rock themes, and all that stuff. Uh, Murder Falcon is born. Murder Falcon, of course, being uh, this giant freaking falcon with a huge metal arm. He knows kung fu. He's a badass at fighting, and he lives the heavy metal lifestyle. That, in a nutshell, is a story. Basically, Murder Falcon uh, journeys into Earth and finds uh, Jake, who has recently quit playing his guitar after he left due to some tragic events. He left his uh, band, uh, Bruticus, and he abandoned his friends and wife out of the tragedy that occurs. And the character, of course, goes through a lot of changes throughout the comic. He was very confident. He was a very happy, wholesome person. But when, but when tragedy strikes, his outlook changes and uh, sadness, grief, and depression and all these elements come into play and really stir him away from the guy that he used to be and a friend to many and... Um, a loving husband and all that stuff so murder falcon sort of just brings him to reconcile with his former self and probably or maybe realize the wrongdoings and and the process as he's they're gonna fight all these monsters they're gonna have to build uh the band back up so they can fight the uh chaos villains if you will with the power of heavy metal I know it sounds ridiculous it sounds sort of absurd but it is wonderful I love uh, heavy metal and part of the charm and appeal of listening to this genre that we all love is that it's um, it's empowering it's powerful you're screaming into the wind into the void and just letting your frustrations out with songs and themes about uh, good versus evil about um, it can be about uh, politics, it can be about um, the human heart, the, the human condition, and how we treat others. Uh, it can tell awesome fantasy stories about the knight beating a dragon. Uh, it can go into that sort of uh, mystical uh, high fantasy world. You can do a lot of that, uh, and you can vent your frustrations with heavy metal and sort of like these powerful uh, themes that are enjoyed worldwide by millions of fans. So Daniel being a guitar player, a fan of heavy metal, a fantastic writer, and a wonderful artist. I loved the art in this book. I mean, seriously. Look at this awesome splash page. I won't tell you the context, just gonna have to figure it out, but the usage of layouts to sort of like display all this hectic motion not once are you lost as to what's happening and uh, Mike's coloring just brings Daniel's wonderful grungy indie art to life in a very beautiful way I mean uh, take a look at uh, the heavy here 
where the character of Murder, Murder Falcon comes from, and it's this huge anvil. I mean, there's so many Easter eggs in this book about heavy metal culture and bands and CDs and just... Um, I mean, take a look at... Try not to spoil anything, but I mean, take a look at this group like Monster and uh, other characters that um, are not necessarily uh, of a certain genre because you know heavy metal <laughs> embodies a ton <laughs> so many subgenres so uh, it does go into different uh, oh here's a better picture of that guy right there look at that tree monster thing that is pretty freaking awesome I, I, I love this uh, also before I do continue with the review of this book uh, do yourself a favor. When Daniel was writing this book, he made a Spotify playlist of the songs that inspired uh, the script. Um, sort of like, yeah, the, you could say the music of the comic. Uh, it's on Spotify. It's wonderful. But if you want to go even further, play your favorite rock or heavy metal or hard rock, whatever kind of rock music that you like to listen to, Play it while you're reading the action scenes in this book, and I guarantee you, you are going to have a fantastic time. It is going to be a badass read all throughout, and there is a lot of dynamic action with characters just punching the living crap out of each other. Uh, wonderful creature designs, just awesome imagery all, all, all the way through, and... I mean, the characters eventually find out that when you have sort of like these mystical items, uh, musical instruments, I should say, uh, there is sort of like a spirit or avatar that follows you. So you get uh, more uh, creatures and stuff. Uh, like over here, you can see sort of like the serpent sea dragon thing fighting that kaiju. Stuff like that where in other books would be silly this is just straight up fun badass and pretty empowering there are some really fantastic beautiful solo moments between uh, jake and his wife and when you do find out uh, the cause of the rift between the characters it's very touching and it goes into very uh, into very heartwarming um lesson about overcoming your fears and what it takes uh, to be courageous and standing up in the face of adversity to be brave and to do what needs to be done in a way where um, you know not necessarily becoming a hero and all that stuff but overcoming personal obstacles in a very endearing way like there is a ton of heart that went into this story as silly as it may seem from a surface um, just beautiful stuff overall if I do say so myself the ending is a little bit bittersweet it definitely uh, hit me in the feels the artwork like I said is pretty fantastic uh, dynamic expressive very fluid in the way the characters behave and, and act, and the fight scenes are just freaking fantastic. Have I said that? Yes, I did. I don't care. I'll say it again. Uh, I mean, I mean, seriously, look at how much color and pizzazz this book has, and, and Daniel just nails it, in my honest opinion. A fun, uh, worthwhile read in 2019. The story is one and done. You, you only need to read this book. There's no more afterwards. It's only eight issues. But I do wish uh, this world could continue in some shape or form. I know it it, it, would, it wouldn't work simply because the ending it, it wraps up in a very um, satisfying way. But the universe that was created is pretty awesome in my opinion. I think there is room to maybe try and do something. Um, a spin-off, maybe? I don't know. But, easily, this is one of my favorite panels of uh, the comic. I mean, <laughs> so much shredding. He gets a mega form. Uh, Murph, as the characters like to call him. Uh, he gains metal wings and a freaking giant Gatling gun that he can use to uh, destroy the kaiju monsters. Uh, just... Man, this is a blast. This is so much fun. Uh, the characters are pretty interesting. Uh, 
They are really well uh, written and very expressive in their emotions, and I really appreciated that. There is a very human element, even though we're dealing with fantastical themes, that I think uh, could surprise a lot of people if they give it a shot. Have you read Murder Falcon? Let me know in the comment section down below. Guys, as always, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to A Week in Geekdom. I value your opinion, your love, and support so very much. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the book if you have read it. If not, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Thank you so very much. I have got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode.